just really need coffee. Like, I actually go to bed at night dreaming about my coffee in the morning. Is there something wrong with me? Am I all there? I think I am. By the way, I have honey in my coffee. Just like a teaspoon. And it's the most delicious thing in the whole world. You should try it. And if you haven't tried honey in your coffee, like, just try it. Like, I don't know, you could hate it. Maybe don't try it. If you don't like honey, don't try it. But if you do like honey, give it a go. All right, I'm getting way too much glare off these glasses. I'm gonna take them off. Okay, now you can see me properly. It's Tuesday peeps, which means, you got that right. It's Tutorial Tuesday, AKA Two Minute Tuesday. I'm gonna try my hardest to get this in under two minutes. I am a rambler, I do talk a lot, so I find it really difficult to get my videos down to any less than 10 minutes currently. So I'm, I'm so super stoked to try and do this for you guys. So you set up your Instagram page, you've got a really cool business name and you think that's it. I got news for you, that's not it. It's a lot of work and a lot of hustle. So my tip number one would be connect all of your social media outlets. That is your Facebook, your Twitter, your Foursquare, your Snapchat. All of those things connect to Instagram. It's awesome. I'm not going to lie to you. It is probably one of the best things about social media and how they connect together. It's going to save you so much time. Tip number two, embrace your audience. Keep them coming back with different varieties of content. That means utilizing your stories the same as everyone else does. Do behind the scenes, do sneak peeks of things that are coming. People love that. They want to be all up in your business. They want to feel like they're a part of it. So if you your example, a soap making company, you show them how you make your soaps, you show them the molds, you show them how you go through the processes. You jump on Instagram TV, you do a live stream of you making soap. I don't know, pull out the Dr. Dre and jam it up. Oh yeah, we're right in the middle, right in the middle, almost done. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I need a life. I, I genuinely need a life. I'm talking to a camera. My camera's my best friend right now. You're my best friend. You are. I, 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 I love you. Tip number three is take beautiful photos. Keep that grid looking consistent and beautiful. And if you can't take good looking photos, that's okay because not everybody can. But you've got a brilliant business idea and you can't take photos. Employ someone that can take photos. Employ a product photographer or Hold a brand rep search. Holding a brand rep search, you're gonna get photos in return, but you're also gonna get your name out there a little bit too. So I really do think it's important to have brand reps. Um, when you're first starting out though, it can be costly and it is hard. So if you can take your own photos, then do it. You can do it yourself. Have faith in you. Have faith in you. Just make sure they're pretty. If you need help with photos, I can help you. Just DM me. Love, love, all the love. Tip number four. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. See, I did it again. I told you, I learned it in primary school, so why not use it? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. I don't know if I say it correctly, but I think I do. I think I still remember. I can count to 10, actually. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nove, dieci. Aha! 10! Let's count it to 10. Anyway, let's do this. Tip number four, connect your shoppable tags. Make everyone's life super convenient and connect your shoppable tags. By connecting shoppable tags, it means that anyone that looks at your photo, they can click straight on your photo and go and shop that piece of clothing or that soap bar or that tea you're selling, I don't know, whatever your idea is. 
Tip number five, know your worth. Do not undersell yourself in a bid to try and beat others that are selling a similar item or the same item for cheaper. You need to make money. That's what you're in business for. You are not in business for losing money, so do not undersell yourself. Remember to factor in everything. Factor in your materials, factor in your labor costs, the brown paper that you wrap your clothing or your tea or your soap bars in, and the string that goes around. Well, that's it from me, guys. Hope you enjoyed those five top tips on becoming an Instagram business. And if you have any questions or you wanna get in touch, just DM me on Instagram. I answer all your messages. Uh, thank you for tuning in and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell if you want to be notified for every time that I upload content. Once again, thank you. Yeah.